Now, since our you know wheelbase and our engine classes they uh, come with uh, builder pattern, our vehicle class should also actually implement the uh, builder pattern. And uh, in fact, what I also want to do is, I want to make uh, chassis as top level and not put chassis inside the wheelbase. And uh, we want to you know test out some uh, error configurations as well. Uh, so if I don't put chassis inside uh, you know wheelbase. Uh, so we can put like chassis at the top level but then we'll have to make sure that you know like inside chassis we have got like the number of seats the type of the chassis and so on we want to make sure that uh, like certain chassis like you know hatchback chassis cannot go in a big wheelbase and uh, stuff like that okay so so let's let's uh, start off with that uh, what i will do is i will uh, create a class uh, builder here okay so uh, vehicle class uh, builder and uh, then uh, we do is of course we'll have a fun uh, build uh, build will return a vehicle okay uh, no doubt we let's have uh, a wheelbase uh, let's have a chassis and let's have a, a engine okay So now that we have that, uh, a wheelbase, a chassis, and an engine, uh, we will take the vehicle class and in its constructor we will put uh, chassis here, okay. And uh, what we'll do is we will take uh, like the wheelbase class and remove the chassis from here, so that you know chassis plus total cost does not get into the cost here. The rest uh, things uh, can uh, you know remain like this, okay. Uh, then uh, you know here we will have a wheelbase cost plus engine cost plus uh, chassis dot total cost that's my cost of my vehicle so yeah, I'm a vehicle builder and when we build a vehicle we will uh, return uh, a vehicle with this dot uh, wheelbase uh, this dot chassis and uh, this dot engine of course right uh, so we'll have like you know uh, fun uh, set wheelbase uh, it will take a wheelbase and it will return a uh, you know a builder and it will return this and before that it will do is uh, this dot uh, wheelbase equal to wheelbase okay it will do the same thing for uh, chassis so Okay, and uh, we'll do something similar for uh, engine as well. Okay, so this is my vehicle builder, and then I will make this constructor also private constructor. Okay, so my vehicle has a private constructor now. Okay, um, so here we are building a vehicle. Here we are building a you know a wheelbase and uh, yeah so i think pretty much that now uh, you know in our main class uh, we'll have to change things a little bit now uh, so what we will do is uh, uh, we will uh, create uh, something like this uh, well uh, wheelbase uh, builder equal to wheelbase dot builder okay well uh, chassis builder equal to chassis dot builder and then uh, well uh, engine builder equal to engine dot uh, builder okay so we have got these three builders and uh, then what we will do is uh, we will uh, take the value of uh, wheelbase size and based on wheelbase size uh, we will do this uh, wheelbase builder dot uh, set size and this so we will write this code everywhere okay so 
that's like my uh, first thing done that's uh, how uh, we can get our you know wheelbase uh, stuff to build what else do we need to put in our wheelbase builder uh, we need to set size we need to set the uh, oh we don't need the set chassis anymore in fact here we need to uh, set uh, spare wheel here uh, fun uh, and then uh, the wheel factory okay so we're gonna get to that uh, slowly slowly uh, we're gonna get to that uh, then we have got our uh, this is to put the chassis type there okay uh, then we have put the seat factory inside uh, the chassis so let's do like start uh, chassis work and uh, we can end like chassis work here okay uh, here we can do like you know uh, start wheelbase work and uh, end wheelbase work here and then uh, finally uh, we can do something similar with engine okay so with engine what we'll do uh, we'll do uh, engine builder dot uh, so uh, set uh, engine type and uh, let's say we put a diesel engine here engine builder dot uh, set transmission uh, let's say forward wheel uh, drive uh, i need to create a transmission transmission okay uh yeah so now when we're creating a vehicle uh this will uh, become uh, very different okay so vehicle would be uh vehicle dot builder dot set chassis chassis builder dot build uh set uh wheelbase uh wheelbase builder dot build and uh, set uh, engine will be engine builder dot build okay and yeah that's how i uh, you know get my uh, car uh, and then finally dot build here okay so vehicle dot builder uh, we do all the building work here then dot build we finally call and then the vehicle gets uh, built uh, number of wheels so we will actually find it using something else we'll do wheelbase dot uh, wheels dot uh, size that's how we will find the total number of wheels in my uh, car okay so we uh, so let's try to run this and see if that works or not so continue to build car yes uh, into the wheelbase size medium uh, chassis type suv uh, so yeah there we get wheel factory has not been initialized uh, we have a error there so we need to set the you know wheel factory inside the uh, wheelbase so wheelbase builder dot set wheel factory let's say we create alloy wheels okay so i think uh, this should work then so yes and enter wheelbase size uh, medium yes chassis type uh, is gonna be hatchback I got like eco sport uh, with v4 wheels uh, 6580 or something like this okay so uh, yeah so now I think everything is using builder and factory patterns properly but our main class has a lot of code and that is what something we can uh, start reducing here in our code uh, and we will see how uh, we can work on reducing the amount of code uh, that we hear, uh, here uh, have here okay so let's see uh, 